talking. All right, so this week, what I am going to do is show you several things. The first thing is how you can set up a default template for when you open Mixcraft. Okay, the second thing is programming the MIDI interface with a Surface or a keyboard. And the third thing is how you can set up a keyboard to be like those old, uh, like the Hammond organs and stuff where they had the sliders and you can have different sounds coming out. So if you want to learn about those things, stick around and I'm going to show you right now. What I'm going to do today, folks, is something unscripted and I'm going to show you how this keyboard can interface with Mixcraft. And as we get into this, I'll show you how you can set up a template where you could have your uh, any of these sliders or the buttons to be uh, to be active as soon as you open a new project in Mi Mixcraft. Let's try this. I'm going to fire up Mixcraft here, and if I just go in and take just a basic project with with no particular settings. So what we have here is. It's just a master track. There's no additional tracks. I'm just going to right click on that, say insert track. If I insert a virtual instrument track, before I do that, let me just show you. I have this keyboard connected. It says we're, it's, uh, it's got the lights on and everything. It's connected to the computer. Now, Mixcraft is known for its ability to be able to pick up the different devices and just be able to configure itself. So let's see if it works this time. I had some trouble before in a previous video. So let's see. I'm going to I'm going to right click and say insert a a virtual instrument track. Okay, as soon as I do that, let's see. Let's see if this works. So now we've got we've got sound. Um and that's without doing any configuration, which is really nice. And I can click on uh, I can click on the virtual instruments here. The one that I like the best in Mixcraft for a keyboard um, is the pianissimo. And if you click on VST instruments, we go down here. Oh, oh I'm sorry, picked the wrong one. All right. Um, okay, I didn't want that one. That's that's contact. I, I actually use that for, for the drum uh, for the drum loops and the one I'm looking for is pianissimo. So that was just kind of a habit to do that. Okay, so here we've got the pianissimo. And this has got nice, uh, it's got a nice sound, sounding piano and uh, you, you got nice uh, parameters here. You can adjust the piano sounds and uh, I mean the hammer sounds like, if you, if you increase that, you can hear that now. And uh, so it's just, um, it's just a nice piano that, that uh, I, I like the sound of in, in Mixcraft. So once that's set, we're all good. Now, what I wanted to show you was how you can set these faders, or uh, these sliders, and uh, the knobs and the and the buttons to be able to use inside of Mixcraft. Now, one really useful feature is to have all these record buttons. So, if you're recording something and you want to play back, you can just use the buttons on the keyboard here. So, let me just show you how to do that. So. What you do is you go up here where it says MIDI, click on that button, and then you notice here what, what it's showing here. It's got all these purple areas that uh, each one of these can be programmed. Now, this one, it, this seems to remember also the last time you did something. Like, uh, like I clicked on, on this before and set up this, uh, this slider here. I believe this is this slider number one, and this is going to be for for this first track. Let me just show you how this is done. I click on that track and it, and it's in this case it turns blue. And then what I do is I pick the the knob or the slider or the button that I want to f use for that particular thing that I clicked. So I'm going to slide up and down on this slider here which actually says master, which makes a whole lot of sense. All right. So now if I just say, if I just click on MIDI again to accept that, what will happen is, let's see. You see that that's going to move up and down as I move the slider. Perfect. And I, I believe this number one, the pianissimo, this is also, that was all uh, already preset 
previously. So now if if I do if I save this as my let's say I want to save this as my uh, what do you call it a template file so that when I open up the next time I'm always going to have that right there. Let's see. I'm going to select down here where it says Mixcraft template. And it says Mixcraft template is going to be a dot mx9 template file. So let's do this. I'm going to say, um, what shall we call this? Let's call it a pianissimo. Pianissimo template. Okay, save it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit and come back in. Let's try that. Would you like to save changes? No, let's see if it saves the changes, shall we, in that template file. So I'm going to open up Mixcraft again. All right, so I just found something out about Mixcraft. And that is that if you want to set the default projects, there is, if you go to File, you can go down to Set New Project Defaults. And what that will do is bring up this little screen. Now, I originally had this screen and uh, that was that was showing when when I opened up Mixcraft. Now apparently I must have clicked on this where it says show for new projects and uh, and that disappeared. So anyway, I'm happy that I've found that. So now that I've created a project, uh, a um, what do you call it, a template file, if I want to instead of uh, instead of selecting how many tracks, how many new tracks, uh, audio tracks. Um, instrument tracks uh, and all those things. I can go down here to load template and I can browse for the one that I just created which is a Pianissimo MX9 template. Click on that one, open, and then what that's going to do is load that when when we open up Mixcraft again. So let's see if that really works. Okay, so I'm going to click OK. All right, and then let's just, I'm going to just close this and and let's see if this is going to come up. So I'm going to click on Mixcraft again, and let's see if it goes in and and does what it should. Okay, so here we go. All right, so now we've got we've got the Pianissimo preloaded, and we've got the master track here, which is what we had. And let's see if the sliders work. So I'm going to move up and down. It's working. All right, and then also the master. So I've got two sliders there. Perfect. So now the issue I have is I'm going to show you that in a minute. But what I want to do is just go through some other useful features which are right here. If I want to, um, I guess you call these the transport uh, buttons here. Uh, if I want to set those, this Novation Launch Key 49 keyboard has has some of those kind of buttons over here. So for the record button, it would be really nice if I can just hit that record button on the keyboard here. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, you click the button and then select the button that you want to use for that function. So likewise, the play button, I can do the play button. And um, there are some other ones I can do the, uh, the fast forward. I can do the fast forward and the fast rewind. And I, I could I could assign some of those other ones too. And then once, if I do this now, if I s go back to the MIDI, click on that one again. Now what should happen is if if I want to start recording, I can go back to the beginning, and I just hit the button here. It says you do not currently have anything armed, so it it actually prevented doing that. So let's see if I if I wanted to arm this with the launch key. Okay, so I've got, let's see if that's going to be actually, okay, so it's picking up sound. That's, that's good. If I put the headphones on, I can hear it. All right, so that's, that's armed and ready. Now, if I hit that button again, I just hit the button on the keyboard. And there we go, and I can start playing. Just like that. So that's how you set up these buttons. Now, if I wanted to save that, again, what I would do is 
I could go into the I could go to save as and I could go back uh, let's find all the templates and I could go back to this one and do a save again and it's going to say do you want to replace the existing file I'm going to say yes so that's how you set up Mixcraft with your preferences so now let me show you the big deal let me show you the problem here the problem is let's just just create a few other tracks I'm going to insert track and audio track now let's see if I want to let's say I want to put this uh, this new track well let's first of all see what happens I've just inserted a new track above the pianissimo track so let's see if my slide is still working what happened is that slider is now operating on track number one which used to be the pianissimo but now because I, I shifted the order it's it's now long it's no longer uh, set for pianissimo it's it's on the audio track so let's see if I change the MIDI again what actually happens is well what we've got here is is something very interesting now if I want to let's say I want to just move that one down like that and then let's say I want to move it down again below this one uh, we're going to see some rearranging of these these functions so I'm going to put the master track over here so the master track is now so the master track no longer has that same setting so the settings get all messed up which is not good on top of that if you start moving these things around what I found also is that some of these tracks become unavailable for setting well anyway this this does have some issues and uh, if you can work around those things then it's still a great program and and it's still very useful now the interesting thing is let's let's do this let's do something else here interesting I'm just going to set a few things here and just show you how this this will work with uh, with the keyboard and with the mixing two different kinds of sounds what I did was I just set trombones on the first track and the pianissimo on the third track so let's just see if I can set this now so I'm I'm in uh, the MIDI setup tool and I'm going to click on that first track that's that's one set there again this one I'm going to right click and say unlearn and right here I'm going to put this on the third track okay so that's that's that and then the master track let's see okay that's still settable all right good so what happens now is I'm going to say MIDI click off the MIDI now so if I press uh, some uh, something like that so what I can do here is I can so there you can hear the piano right this is nice because you can set up your keyboard with uh, a number of different sounds just like you can with the old uh, uh, the old organs where you can use the sliders this is kind of cool that you can do that and you can set up all these tracks on on uh, Mixcraft all right so that's it for me this week so as I always say stay tuned and I look forward to seeing you soon